you can see the circuit here you can see there is a 1 kilo ohm resistor at the input R and you have a diode here and you have the op amp here the inverting terminal is the one which is in which we are giving the input therefore output should be negative of the input and because there is a diode it will be the logarithm of the input voltage. So, this is the graph and you can see also below the circuit the diode I have, I have not used a transistor I have used only the diode here normal silicon 1 and 4001 or so some standard diode I have connected in the feedback you can see that it is going from 2 to 6 and you have the 1 kilo ohm resistor here which is connected to a millivolt source which we are also already very familiar we have used this many times. So, you have a selection range and a continuous variation here and you have a potentiometer which can vary within the range. So, these three knobs are used to adjust the different values of the millivolts and the, that input is given as the input for the logarithmic amplifier. The output of the logarithmic amplifier is monitored using a multimeter which also I am sure you are all familiar it is in the voltage range and you get a minus 0.48 and if you really look at the input voltage I will take the multimeter and connect it at the input just to see what is the input at this stage and you can see the input is 0 0.9 that it is about nearly 100 millivolt. So, let me slightly increase it to make it 0 0.1. So, it is about 0 0.1, 0 0.1 means 100 millivolt, 0 0.1 it is in the voltage range. So, this is 100 millivolt and when I have 100 millivolt I will again change the multimeter to the output point. I have connected at the output point and you can see the output is about 0.48. So, when I have 100 millivolt it is around 48 if, if you remember the linear graph that I showed you it was very close to 0.49 or something like that. Now, if I make it 0.2 volts at the input it is around 0.51. So, it is not increasing in a linear fashion, but if the increase is only about 0 0.3, 0 0.03, 0 0.48 to 0 0.51. So, the difference is only 0 0.03. Now, if I go to 300 millivolt now it becomes only 0.2. 52 or 53 so it keeps on decreasing it is not in a linear fashion that is what i want you to recognize now it is 400 millivolt for that it is 0.54 and if i go to 500 it is 0.55 so you can see the output voltage is go increasing very slowly where the, whereas the input is going in steps of 100 millivolt and if you take the set of readings and if you take the logarithm of 100 millivolts, logarithm of 200 millivolts, etcetera, with reference to base 10 and plot the output voltage, you will get a linear graph, a straight line. So, therefore, when the input is changing in large amount, the output is changing only very, very slightly. That is exactly what that is what is known by compression. So, several orders, if you vary the input, the output varies only in a linear fashion. Okay. So, this is the input is varied in logarithmic fashion, the output is varying in a linear fashion that is exactly what we wanted to achieve by using the logarithmic amplifier.